Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and well over a year ago when I had my old haircut, my face was pudgier, and I hadn't experienced the stress of two house moves, I did a video on my first experience using a Chromebook intensively. And fast forward to today, Chromebooks are better than ever, there's plenty of options, they're cheaper, and Android app support is even better as well. So I thought I'd put together a Chromebook setup for me to help me just get stuff done. Now Best Buy Canada reached out and sponsored this video and sent out some of the products for this setup. Best Buy has all the products found in this video and more of course available online or in store. And whether you're a student looking for some cool tech to upgrade the school year or just a lifelong learner in general, Best Buy pretty much has you covered. And now, let's get started. My Chromebook setup is fairly basic, but has some necessary essentials for productivity. Let's talk hardware first. The Chromebook itself is the ASUS C301. Now there are some great Chromebook options, but I chose this one for the 13 inch 1080p screen, battery life, and fairly good performance. The laptop itself is both plastic and metal. There's a good port selection, an above average trackpad, and a solid keyboard. Now, the monitor I chose is the 27-inch 1080p HP 27ES. Unfortunately, all Troy monitors don't work with Chrome OS, it just stretches the whole OS across the screen, at least from my testing, so I couldn't use this LG ultra-wide. The HP 27ES, however, is pretty impressive. Super high-quality metal build on the base and arm, beautiful design, ultra-thin body, and minimal bezels across the edges on the front. It gets pretty bright with some nice vibrant colors, but it is a glossy panel and hooks up directly through HDMI to the Chromebook and works perfectly as either an extended or a mirrored screen. My peripherals are the fully Bluetooth Logitech M535 mouse, I'm a really big fan of this mouse, and the Apple Magic Keyboard but in a custom painted space grey color from Colorware. It's really a bit of an odd keyboard choice, but to be honest, it's been my daily keyboard for the last little while, and I'm really a big fan of both the look and the overall experience. Also part of this setup is the Google Home Smart Assistant, and I really enjoy this speaker. One key feature that is great with your Google Home and your Chromebook is Google Cast. If you're playing audio on your Chromebook, you can wirelessly cast that audio to your Google Home. That's really only one small part of the Google Home of course, and it's definitely great for a lot more, but I'll go over that more in depth in a future video. And all this is plugged into the Monster 6 outlet surge protector that basically covers up your wall outlet, and adds a bunch of ports and USB ports, and can protect your devices during surges or outages. It's really overall a good backup to have. Now with all of this hardware, the most important thing is how the software works on the Chromebook. So I've broken down software usability for Chrome OS into a few key sections. There's productivity, there's gaming, there's media consumption, and there's just a few extras at the end. The Google Play Store and Android apps are usually pretty smooth, but there are some issues with either mild lag or incompatibility, but for the most part, it's usually pretty stable. But right off the bat, if you're a pro looking to do some hardcore video, photo, or audio editing, this is really not the setup for you. It is definitely more versatile than an iPad for example in some key areas, but for pro work users this is not really a good choice as you probably know. Go for a cheaper Mac or PC to use pro apps, but for light work this is great. You have the free Google G Suite applications for typing, presentations, and spreadsheets, which are fairly good, but not really the best ever, but of course you do also have the Google Play Store with tons of Android apps. This includes all the Microsoft Office applications, Adobe Android apps, and the wide variety of other great apps available on the Google Play Store. As long as you're being realistic about what you want to do on your Chromebook, you can definitely get things done. Next, a major departure from productivity is gaming. Many games I play on Android phones work well here, and of course there is a great selection. Now, most Android games rely on tapping of some sort for interaction, so if your Chromebook doesn't have a touchscreen like mine, you can use your trackpad for clicking or your mouse. Media consumption is very strong on Chromebooks. You have all the websites you usually use to watch videos on, plus app versions as well. For music, the same thing pretty much applies. You can use the website versions or the app versions for most popular streaming services. Except Apple Music for some reason. Social media is also excellent here. The app versions for sites like Twitter are available in the Play Store, and you can also download the great Instagram app instead of the website version, or even Snapchat for usage on your Chromebook. Basically for any sort of multimedia or social media, you're pretty much covered. And last are just some of the extras and tidbits for using applications on your Chromebook. 
Basically any app that you usually use on your Android phone works pretty well here, either the web version or the application version. Applications are rescalable in their windows and can also fill the full screen, and you can also have a whole bunch of applications open with not really any real drops in performance. By just adding in that amazing Android app support, it takes Chromebooks from lame overall machines into much better tablet replacements. And for some people, it's even possible for use as a primary machine if you don't demand too much from it. And that's it for this video. A huge thank you to Best Buy Canada for making this video possible. And take it from me, a student, that Best Buy Canada is a great source for finding technology deals and just essentials in general. When I hit up my local Best Buy and I just can't find what I need or I just need help with something in general, Best Buy staff are always there or the cooler names, the blue shirts, to help me out. And for those more intensive, complicated questions, the Geek Squad is there in store and can be there online 24-7 for any support you may need. Like the video if you liked it, comment down below your thoughts on Chromebooks in general. Do you like them? Do you hate them? Do you use one daily? Could you use one daily? Let me know down below. Subscribe, and thank you for watching.